Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like taking your Tesla on road trips, it's really good to have a portable charger with you. In this video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new portable charger from T-Vibex that's gonna help us charge our Model Y on road trips when we take it camping and all sorts of fun activities. Let's get into it. So let's start with the unboxing. Right out of the case, the T-Vibex charger makes a strong first impression. You get a nice rugged carrying case, the charger itself, and a 23 foot heavy duty cable, long enough to reach those awkward or distant outlets without stretching or straining. The cable itself is thick, it's well insulated, which adds confidence that this thing is built for real world use, not just those ideal conditions. You'll also find a user manual inside, but the setup is really intuitive. Just plug it in, connect to your EV, and you're ready to charge. If you're a Tesla owner, keep in mind that this t vibex charger ends in a J1772 plug, which is the universal standard for most EVs in North America, at least for a little while longer. To use it with your Tesla, you'll need to grab your J1772 to NAX adapter that came with your vehicle. You should have gotten one when you purchased your Tesla, just make sure you have it uh, before you order this charger. Once you have that connected, it works exactly like any other home charger. Just plug it in and charge and you're ready to go. So the T-Vibex charger is available in different models with two different plug types, either a NEMA 520 or a NEMA 1450 configuration, but not both in the same unit. The version I'm using is the NEMA 1450, which is a 240 volt plug commonly found in RV parks, garages, and other industrial settings. It's perfect for that faster level two charging and is great if you already have one of these outlets at home or frequently visit places that do. Make sure you select the right type of plug when you order one of these chargers because it really all depends on where you plan to use it the most. So this charger offers three power output levels to choose from. 3.5 kilowatts for basic slow charging, 7.2 for overnight top-ups, and 9.6 kilowatts for faster charging if your car and power source can actually support it. The model I'm using supports up to 32 amps of charging, which still delivers performance for most EVs. It gives you solid charging speeds without overloading your circuit panel. Uh, it's ideal for home, RV, or even travel use. On the front of the unit, there's actually a smart LCD display, which is a really cool feature. It shows your real-time charging stats, voltage, amperage, temperature, and charging time. If there's a problem like overheating or a grounding issue, the screen will clearly indicate what's going on. It's a simple but useful feature that gives peace of mind every time you plug it in. The build quality of this charger is also rock solid. It has an IP65 weather resistance rating. This charger is built to handle rain, dust, dirt, so charging outside is not a problem. The plugs are snug, the seals are secure, the casing feels durable enough for real world use. Whether you're charging at home or kind of off the beaten path, this thing really holds up. So now that we've kind of gone over all the specs and all the features of this charger, what do I really think about it? I actually really like it. Having this little LCD screen here is actually kind of cool. I know you can get a lot of this information on your Tesla screen or even in your Tesla app, but to come over and just see it here on the screen, how long the car has been charging, how much energy has put in there, um, and the temperature, the voltage, the current mode you have it set on. It's really cool. It's kind of customizable. I wish the Tesla charger had a little screen like this so I could see all of those stats at a glance. I know if I really want to see them, I can dig through the menus of my Tesla or my app and find them, but I really like the screen. I like the form factor of this charger. I do wish that it had the NAX adapter on the end instead of the J1772 adapter, but since all your Teslas should come with that J1772 adapter, it's not a big deal to me that it's not already included on the end. So who is this charger really for? If you're like me, I do all my charging at home with one of those uh, Tesla mobile chargers, the NEMA 1450 charger. I had a 240 volt outlet installed in my garage and it's perfect for what I need. We realistically only drive maybe 40, 50 miles a day, something like that. So we're easily able to charge up within an hour or two of being home. This charger I plan to take with me and keep in the Tesla. So I'm not always having to unplug my mobile charger from my home wall and actually kind of use it as more of that wall connector. If you have that wall connector already installed, having a backup like this would actually be really beneficial that you could keep in the car on the go with you. If you ever find yourself in a place where you need a charger and all you have is that wall connector at home, this is a great solution. Well, thank you guys for coming back for another video. I hope you liked my review and unboxing of this charger. I'm gonna put it through its paces over the next few weeks and actually use it for a while on my home charger here. And I'll update in the comments if there's any negative feedback I have about it, but I really like it so far. 
the screen, the convenience of having it with me. I like the carrying case and also the little uh, adapter holder, kind of like this one I have uh, to actually hold this charger if you're ever gonna install it in a permanent place. It's a really nice feature too. So big shout out to T-Vibex for sending this over to me for a review. I really appreciate working with them. They're actually the company that sent me my uh, Power Frunk kit, which has been going strong for a year now. And I absolutely love that. One of my favorite features for the car. I'll have links to the Power Frunk kit and this mobile charger down in the description below from T-Vibex. Whenever you shop there, always use discount code GAMBLE1080 right here on the screen. It really helps uh, save you money and helps the channel out. I think right now you get 20% off. So it brings this charger to a really affordable price if you're interested in it. You'll also find down below a link to my Amazon storefront. In there, I have all the products that I love on Amazon to help take care of my Tesla and also accessorize my Tesla. Things for Tesla camping, how I detail my car, and all of the products I've recommended from Amazon with review videos there too. So check out my Amazon storefront. I really appreciate it. Feel free to like and subscribe to this video. It always helps out the channel. Appreciate you guys, and I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this uh, mobile charger down in the comments. We'll catch you in the next one.